Hi everyone, this is Cherry Enchantress, and this is your daily dust for Tuesday, September 12th. If you're watching in real time, but it can also be for whenever you just stumble upon it. It's timeless reading, letting the law of attraction just guide you to this message for whenever you see it. Alright, so the fairy oracle is one I haven't used in a while, the, the Arthur, Arthur Rackham um, version, his art really beautifully done and since I was doing fairy decks I was like okay I'll do this one too I should edge this in green <laughs> alright let's see what we get we have Oh, this is one of my favorites, number 33. I'll tell you what that one is. And, ooh, 23, who's that little fella? <laughs> he's speak. he's spying, spying. Oh, and then the, the cover, 14, that one's beautiful too. All right, let's zoom on in and see what we get. So 33 is really nice. I love how there's no titles on them. And you can just take it by the energy that you're getting. I can already tell that it's a party, it's fun, it's dancing. The, I think this is Peter, Peter Pan, and then fairies around him. So this is called Community Celebration. Many nymphs dance around a tree, holding onto one another's hands as they spin. They know the value of having a good party with friends and loved ones. Off to one side, a maiden bends over, laughing. So it's time to throw a party with your tribe, celebrate a community goal, and share it with the world. You and your group have put in a good effort. And heck, that's what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. So come to my live and be part of my community, the Sparkles of Light, and let's have a little party together when we go live. You know, we just we talk, we hang out, we do readings, we laugh. We connect. Sometimes we cry. <laughs> so come out um, during my live and enjoy community energy. So then we have this little fella who is called the Collector. He is a tiny puka and he's peeking out from the leaves of a tulip. Something shiny has caught his eye. He wears shiny baubles around his neck and a long feather tucked in his magnificent hairdo. <laughs> he reminds me of that one character or one bachelor, the, one of the, the, uh, the contestants on The Bachelorette who wore earrings all the time. He was very metrosexual, but he was very, you know, very into the girl, but he was also very kind of, he was one of the, the ne'er-do-wells. I guess he was a little bit... He, he just didn't conform to the rules. <laughs> anyway, a heavy cloth bears the weight of the pouch at the side of his hip. He wears only one shoe. And is this because he collected only one? <laughs> anyway, the meaning here is about that the collector knows what he wants to own. And if he's come to you, be on the lookout for your next edition. Choose wisely, make sure this is something you desire, and above all, don't lose your shoe. Ooh, and if you lose your shoe, maybe you're going to be in a Cinderella-like energy where you're a party, it's festive, you meet some money, you lose your shoe, you're like, oops, I can't go back for it because there's a timing issue here. <laughs> so it's something like that, could be, could be. But it could also be shopping, like a day of shopping. That would be fun. Maybe you're trying to buy something that you really like. Maybe a specific thing, like a shoe. Maybe you're about to stumble upon a spe specific um, item that you've been trying to collect. Maybe you are collecting Barbies and you want to check out my my eBay. <laughs> anyway, so um, 14. <clears throat> this one is all about... So number 14 is all about enlightenment. Fair Helana stands in the reeds, the sun casting halos around her hair. She is one who takes the time to think, to really understand what the nature of being human means. 
She desires the highest form of love and ends up rejecting anything that does not meet her up to her expectations. As a result, she is alone, yet is surrounded by caring individuals. So if this card has come out for you, it's representing that you that it's time to think about where you're going. Look to the higher sources to guide your inner compass and allow epiphanies to come. Realize the wisdom received and acknowledged is and where the origin of the the wisdom you're receiving is coming from. <clears throat> So this is very interesting that um, we have a little party. We have, there could be somebody that's catching, that was trying to catch your eye, is trying to make um, make known that they're interested in you, but they're a little bit different. And you may be thinking, hmm, maybe I should set my, set my sights higher. Or maybe this is just a kind of, kind of, a unique person that you've been looking for <laughs> or maybe there's some clues here with this little guy that will help you understand better what you want or what you don't want you know sometimes it also it always helps us when we're choosing things even if it's shopping we when we see what we actually don't want we it helps us to know what you know what we can rule out so um, I don't tend to believe that we're supposed to focus on the negative at all but if you do end up focusing on the negative if you're just in that kind of mode or habit or whatever write those things down the things that you don't like just write them down you can throw them away or burn them but but it may give you some clarity to the things that you do want and then think of the reverse of that or think of the the things you do want and then and then start visualizing that and start imagining those things coming to you but <clears throat> I feel like the beginning of this success could be by hanging out with some good friends good people a kindred community um, loving energy you don't have to you know if this feels like it's you and not somebody you're looking at you don't have to be shy you don't have to to stand away because you feel awkward you you are you are the princess. You're beautiful. It's like it's like you may see yourself this way, but everybody sees you like this way. You know, it could be something like that. You you're the Cinderella. You deserve to be at the ball. You come from um, an honorable lineage and family and everything. The only reason why you are in the position you were in because of because of the negativity that was around you. But you do deserve to be at the party, and you do deserve to get attention and get and get admired and be loved and you do deserve to doll up and look cute and beautiful before this party so those are some thoughts and ideas here that <laughs> it may not be about just the physical things it could be just um it could be about it does feel a little like shopping though to me but it, it definitely with um with her with helena there's a bit of a elevated energy here this a spiritual energy so keep tapping into the things that are leading you in the right direction the spiritual type growth and the spiritual type um, of messages coming down to you and don't ignore when you're receiving these downloads because they're leading you in the right direction <laughs> now so for my bonus here if anybody is out there in the Spanish-speaking community. I'm going to post this for free for Spanish-speaking people, both here on YouTube and on Patreon, I guess. <laughs> and I'll just go over each one in Spanish. And so I hope you like that. Fake Trust and Pixie Dust. Mm -hmm.